anthropologists study taboo, things everybody knows but no one is supposed to talk about. In British society, you can say almost anything you like about sex. Economics, however, is riddled with taboo. There are basic economic principles that everybody knows, but no one is ever allowed to talk about. Today I want to talk about one. Let's call it the Peter Paul principle. The less the government is in debt, the more everybody else is. The mathematics are simple. Imagine 40 poker chips. Peter has half, Paul has the rest. Obviously, if Peter gets 10 more, then Paul has 10 less. Now look at this. It's a diagram of the balance between public and private sectors. Notice how the top is an exact mirror of the bottom. This is what's called an accounting identity. One goes up, the other must necessarily go down. What this means is that if the government declares we must act responsibly and pay back the national debt and runs a budget surplus, then it, the public sector, is taking in more money in taxes out of the private sector than it's paying back in. That extra money has to come from somewhere. So if the government goes into surplus, the private sector goes into deficit. If the government reduces its debt, everyone else has to go into debt in exactly that proportion in order to balance their own budgets. The chips are redistributed. This isn't a theory, it's simple math. Now, you might be asking, why does anybody have to be in debt? Why can't everybody, governments, people, businesses, just live within their means? Well, because then there wouldn't be any money. This is another thing everybody knows, but no one really wants to talk about. Money is debt. Banknotes are just a bunch of circulating IOUs. Don't believe me? Look at any banknote in your pocket. It says, I promise to pay the bearer the sum of five pounds. See, it's an IOU. Pounds are either circulating government debt or they're created by banks by making loans. That's where money actually comes from.